A perfectly reasonable regulation turns out to impair expressive rights. Does the regulation now violate the First Amendment? The United States Supreme Court considered that question in Members of the City Council of the City of Los Angeles versus Taxpayers for Vincent. We'll call them the city and taxpayers. A Los Angeles ordinance prohibited posting signs on public property. Taxpayers for Vincent, a group supporting Roland Vincent's campaign for Los Angeles City Council, contracted with the Candidates Outdoor Graphics Service, or COGS, to make and post campaign signs. COGS posted signs, including on utility poles throughout the city. City street maintenance workers removed the signs just as they removed all signs attached to utility poles. In one week, workers removed 1,200 signs from Los Angeles utility poles. Most expressed political and commercial messages. 48 were Vincent campaign signs. Taxpayers and COGS challenged the ordinance's constitutionality. The district court ruled for the city, finding that signs cluttered and blighted the city and created potential safety hazards by blocking sight lines. Taxpayers could still exercise free speech rights because they could assemble, speak, distribute materials, and with owner's permission, post signs on private cars and property. The Ninth Circuit reversed, ruling that the ordinance excessively hindered taxpayers' First Amendment rights. The city appealed to the Supreme Court.